isolated glutathione and nanotechnology. Now this, I do not go anywhere without. Literally, we just got back from Santa Fe. And I mean, I take this everywhere I go. You never know. For me, I'm super, super sensitive to molds. Um, this is the number one thing to help you get rid of molds. But as, uh, glutathione is the number one uh, detoxifier in our body. And you know, studies have really shown that people with autoimmunity uh, tend to have very low levels of glutathione. Now, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm not 100% sure, but um, you know, is it that you have low glutathione and therefore you end up with autoimmunity or do you, um, you know, have autoimmunity and then you're dealing with toxins and autoimmunity so it depletes your glutathione? That we don't 100% know, but we do know that people with autoimmunity and other chronic conditions um, have lower levels of glutathione compared to the you know, healthy population.